Building Research Establishment provides research, advice, training, testing, certification and standards for organisations in the UK and abroad. The Innovation Park at Watford site is open to the public and has welcomed over 2,000 visitors including guests from the construction industry, local authorities, government, academia, school groups and international leaders. These visitors come to see the innovations in building technologies demonstration on the Bree Innovation Park. The increased use of wireless local area network communications in buildings is causing congestion and interference, whilst modern building materials are restricting the propagation of radio frequency waves within them. Therefore building owners have been increasingly turning to the deployment of cellular home networks in their buildings because they operate in licensed spectrum and can avoid interference and congestion. The Innovation Park features full-scale demonstration buildings that have been developed by industry partners. These buildings display innovative design, materials and technologies which combine to address the development challenges facing regions across the world. Technology, demonstration, research, testing, training and dissemination are key activities which underpin the operation and development of the Innovation Park making this the ideal place to demonstrate the Internet of Radio Light system in a home scenario in its famous integer house, which has been showcasing new home technology for over 20 years. The integer house was also built with a variety of intelligent home automation technologies and advanced communication technologies, such as a telephone service distributed via local building exchange, digital satellite and terrestrial television, web TV and closed circuit television. The Internet of Radiolite project develops a safer, more secure, customizable and intelligent in-building network using millimeter wave and visible light communications. The conceived solution reliably delivers increased throughput greater than 10 gigabits per second from access points pervasively located within buildings. It does so whilst minimizing interference and electromagnetic exposure and providing location accuracy of less than 10 centimeters at the same time. Here we see two project researchers, Ben and Kareem, working in the house measuring performance of the 5G indoor system. So, for example, distribution of a 4K TV services can be provided throughout a home. Here you see video streaming to a 4K TV over a 5G VLC link being presented by two of the project researchers, Yui and John. When the 5G VLC signal from the communication LED is blocked, the TV stops playing. And when the 5G VLC signal no longer blocked, the TV resumes the streaming audio video service. 5G remote radio light heads are pervasively allocated in 10 gigabit per second optically networked home, which distributes a 5G compliant multi-component carrier VLC and millimeter wave signal to each room from communication LEDs and millimeter wave antennas. A network home consists of an open stack multi-access edge computing server, a layer 2 processor, a distributed radio access network providing a fully 5G compatible radio communication signal within Ethernet packets using a 10 gigabit per second ethernet ring network to one remote radio light head controller per room and its four remote radio light heads in a parallel processing pipeline. The multi-access edge computing server consists of a software defined network and a network function virtualization system which hosts virtual network functions that are used to provide network services. A security virtual network function sniffs packets to ascertain denial of service and rogue transmitter attacks. Local database virtual network function stores distant estimation data from the VLC received signal strength and the millimeter wave time difference of arrival measurements. The location server virtual network function processes the, th this data to estimate the location of users in room environments. The multi-source streaming virtual network function transmits video streaming packets both through the 5G RAN 
and a lower resolution video through the Wi-Fi network to ensure service continuity. A load balancing virtual network function distributes load equally between the 5G RAN and the wireless LAN network. A 5G home network is able to stream 4K TV, 360 degree and conference call video and support interactive multiplayer gaming. It is able to support location-based data access applications on smartphones or augmented reality headsets. Here you see video streaming to a 4K TV over a 5G VLC link being presented by Yui and John with and without the presence of illumination LEDs. As you can see, the communication LEDs performance is unhindered by the illumination LEDs since video continues to be streamed even when the illumination LEDs have been turned on. The test receiver records 5G received signal strengths QAM constellation diagram mean and probability distribution of the error vector magnitude, the error vector magnitude evolution with time, the block error rate and throughput for the physical downlink shared channel, the physical broadcast channel and the physical downlink control channels. Here you can see the millimeter wave recording being taken at tabletop height 0.7 meters and the performance of the received physical downlink shared channel signal being recorded by Kareem who is one of our researchers. Taking VLC measurements requires positioning the photodiode receiver on a grid, angling it towards a communication LED transmitter and measuring performance on the test receiver. A two degree of freedom gimbal is used to rotate the VLC photodiode receiver towards the communication LED in order to maximize the received signal and hold it in a fixed position for measurement. Taking millimeter wave measurements requires choosing transmit angle, positioning the receiver on a grid, angling it towards the transmitter and measuring performance on the test receiver. The two degree of freedom gimbal was enhanced to be able to do this autonomously. Results from VLC measurements show that the coverage has a diameter of 1 meter and a maximum propagation distance of 2 meters. Angling the receive LED improves the quality of the receive signal. Receive signal strength results have also been used to locate positions with a minimum location error of 3.5 centimeters and 80% of all location measurement errors of less than 10 centimeters. Results from millimeter wave 64 quam transmissions have shown that for a transmit antenna pointing vertically down, the coverage area has a diameter of around 2 meters at ground level, with improved performance for measurements taken at tabletop level 0 0.7 meters above ground, and with improved performance when the receiver is rotated towards a transmitter. Pointing the transmit antenna 30 degrees from the vertical the coverage area can be better than 2 meters by 1.6 meters. The performance of the millimeter wave system slightly varied from one day to the next and so is dependent on external factors which could not be identified. This project demonstrator has shown the viability of a 5G network home with just 4 millimeter wave radio heads required to provide sufficient coverage and location services for a family sized sitting room. It has shown that VLC technology is a good personal area network solution but requires its propagation distance and coverage areas to increase by a factor of 2 to make it commercially viable.